Hey guys, I'm just going to cut a few loaves. I didn't record these videos. I don't even know if they're ready to be cut, honestly. <laughs> I don't record every single one of my videos, but I do have to say something about this stupid mole of mine. I've had it for over a year now, and for some reason now, every time I put a loaf in it, it makes a dent. Two dents in the bottom of it. So, I don't know what it still is. All I know is it angers me. We're going to cut it in piece because my ends are kind of crappy looking here. So, plus I want to make sure it's okay to cut in the middle. Hmm. Yeah. This was the hot process, so I don't think my colors got mixed in all the way. If you can see that there. Well, this was the countertop hot, pro hot process, so. I, don't, I tried it my hardest to mix them colors in. It was just too hard. It started setting up on me real quick. Honestly, I think if you guys want to do a hot a countertop hot process and you want to do multiple colors, my best suggestion is to get um, little, or I think Tina Monek. Monek, is that how you pronounce her name? She has a Facebook page too. Um, I think she does it this way. I'm pretty sure it was her. But she has a smaller crock pots that she puts each color, separates each uh, batch, in, uh, the batch in uh, like three or so different batches so she can color them. And uh, it won't start setting up on her. Because you know hot process, if you've ever made hot process, it, it starts setting up pretty quick once it's cooked. So, but anyways... <clears throat> I did not have that luxury, and I'm not going out and buying a couple little, maybe if I had a big business of, of soap, but I tried to put water over here in my sink, and um, set them in there after I put the batch, separated the batches, but it still didn't work, and I always, these are pretty colors, but I always get pockets, air pockets, there's an air pocket, um, and there's two more, but that's alright, I don't care. If I don't sell them, I will use them for myself. Boy, I tell you guys, my poor daughter, she is going through it. She, uh, look at that. Ah! <laughs> See how it's dented right there? I think it gets so hot it just collapses right there in the middle. And there's a big old air pocket. It's alright. This one would be my soap, I guess. But my daughter, she has been... <sighs> I tell you, that girl's going to kill me. She's going to be the death of me. She just has a one-track mind. And once it gets on something, she... Don't stop thinking about that. And concentrate on what she's supposed to be concentrating on. Like her driving <laughs> uh, she's been in so many accidents I mean three she's been in like four and I believe three of them were her fault I hate to say it but she was dangerous no <laughs> look at that one that one's horrible it's kind of cool looking though I don't know why it did that that's so stupid but the colors are really pretty it's really pretty got some holes but that's to be expected with hot process I tried to make it the fluid. You hear some slurp slurping in the background. I'm sorry, that's my dog drinking. Chewy, you gonna drink, buddy? Yeah, these will be my pieces, I guess. This is just a cutting video, anyways. Scoot off. I just got done making my peppermint bath bombs. They smell so good. They have my whole house smelling good. This one turned out okay, except for this piece right here where it bubbled under. Not but one, well, maybe two little hot. No, that's not even a air pocket. Well, kind of started to be. I even banged these down. Look at that swirl. That's pretty cool. I even banged these down on the counter after I put them in there. It still made air pockets bad. Oh well. 
It smells good anyways. I still, I can't remember what I, I can't remember what fragrance I used for this one. Can't remember for the life of me. I'm trying to remember what all I have in there. The swirls are really pretty. That orange is really pretty. Whoops. Um, I think in my bath bomb video that I just did, I mentioned that my friend lost her son. Um, he was shot this past Saturday, early Sunday. Um, the coward that shot him, instead of getting out of his car and punching the 15-year-old back, he decides to pull his gun and shoot the kid twice coward um so many people on facebook are defending this coward he had a ccw and honestly this man should not have been allowed to have a ccw and he should know the rules you only use your gun if you are in a deadly threat for your life and there's no way that that 15 year old's fist was a deadly threat no way in in, in the world um I can't even imagine. I've, I've been so sad for her all week. Um, that's a pretty swirl. But anyways, I was thinking about making her a soap basket, care package basket, so where, you know, if stuff gets too hectic, she can just shut everything off and go in the bathroom and take a bubble bath, a nice hot bubble bath. And I was thinking about getting her some champagne or some stuff to put in a little basket for her, just to take a, a evening to herself you know what I'm saying yesterday she went and made arrangements to have her son put the rest so that had to have been one of the most hardest days that anybody's had to do ever I mean no mother should have to bury their child we are supposed to go before our children but it's so sad. I couldn't even imagine. So anyways, I'm thinking about making her a basket. Oh, that smells so good. And putting her some, you know, cute cupcakes or soaps and a couple of my bath bombs and buying some candles or something to put in there and going and setting it on her porch. I don't want to bother her right now. Um, even though I don't think she would care, I still don't want to bother her. But, uh... Just to show her that I'm thinking of her, you know what I'm saying? Tell her that she needs to take a minute to herself and block all this hatred out. There's so many evil people out there, I swear. I got blocked off of a crime page that's for our county. I think it, I heard it's run by one of our reporters around here. But um, it's called So and So. I can't tell you because I don't want to tell you guys where I'm located. Um, too many stalking evil people out here. Um, but it's, well, it's uh, my, my city and then it's Ohio, uh, crime monitor and it's, uh, on Facebook and I tell you, people share, people are so nosy. They shared, the night it happened, I guess people went by and seen that the cops were there and everybody shared pictures and said, what's going on at, it was at the gas station. They said, what's going on at the Speedway gas station? There's cops and they've got it blocked off and blah 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 and uh some people on there are saying that he got shot and you know they're just telling us what they think happened and then there's people on there that are just so evil talking about um these kids nowadays he deserved it and it just it po'd me it really ticked me off um so i got kicked off the page because i just couldn't take the i couldn't take the people's hatefulness anymore and i started going off this is really cute. This is that uh, countertop hot process as well. This one is too, but I don't understand why there's a difference. I don't know. Well, this is kind of more of a hot process that didn't. I don't know. It didn't get. It didn't get to the uh, volcano stage. This one. So it's more along the lines of a cold process. So I probably have to have that one set and cure. But this one is ready to be used. It is pretty. Look at that. I love it. I'm gonna take a picture of that one. 
It's my first time making the countertop hot process, and I love it. <clears throat> it's not the prettiest one out there, but for me, doing it my first time, yeah. Well, actually, second time, because I tried to do it there, but it didn't work out so well. <clears throat> but yeah, this was all over a girl, and I guess the girl was in the car, and the guy that shot this 15-year-old, he was 20-something years old, in a car, riding around in a car with two 15-year-old girls. So, and he is supposedly 22. Mmm, smells so good. This is the apple lavender one. So not only does this man need to get murder charges, I feel that he needs to have pedophile charges as well. I mean, what are you doing out and about at 12.45 in the morning with two 15-year-old girls? I guess everybody said he thought he was all that because of his car and this and that and the other. And the girls just adored him or something. I don't know what the heck. I've just been reading so much stuff. It's just unreal. That one kind of looks like a cow. <laughs> but. Anyways. It's a, just a sad situation. All the way around. I believe in the second amendment. I don't want people's guns. I don't want our rights to bear arms to be taken away from us. But I think some people really. I think there just needs to be more than one course. Of guns. Uh, the CCW class. I think there needs to be more than one course. Because obviously this man didn't know the rules of carrying CCW. And I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Bless me, excuse me. But, um, yeah. Honestly, I think that people need to go through just more than one, just one class to carry a gun. And honestly, you're allowed to. Our rights, our Second Amendment is to the right to bear arms. As long as it is not concealed. So you can walk down the street with your gun <laughs> hanging strapped over your shoulder. I think, I mean, I've seen quite a few videos where people have done it and video recorded it and got stopped. And because it's it raises concern, because there are so many mass shootings and stuff nowadays, that people call the cops on these fellows that are walking down the street with their guns. And they get treated like crap. Which, I mean, I can kind of understand that because there's so many shootings nowadays. <clears throat> just this one in Texas just this past couple days. Um, that one at that concert in Vegas, I mean, the list goes on, all the school shootings and, you know, it's all a sad situation, it's going to happen no matter what, even if we were allowed to carry a concealed weapon, it's still going to happen, I don't care what people say, everybody was against Trump for the, uh, gun laws, but honestly, it's still going to happen, people are still going to get guns, they're still going to do what they want to do. So, if they're still going to do what they want to do, I don't want to be unarmed when somebody wants to try to rob me or uh, break into my house while I'm asleep at night, you know. I have, we have, two guns ourselves. They stay loaded in our, and I did not have them while my children were little. I, I wouldn't have it because I didn't want any accidents. You hear too much of that too. But my, my kids are bigger now, so... We did, and the world is not getting any better, so we decided just to get two little guns. There, we got a 38 and a 22, and they stay loaded. One's in my stand, one's in his. Um, I really hope and wish and pray we don't ever have to use them. But I do take them out to my brother-in-law's every once in a while and shoot them off to make sure they're working and make sure my aim is good. Because, you know, if somebody's trying to get in my house or they're in my house, I don't want to kill nobody, no matter what. Unless they got one pointed at me. But, um, if I can, I'm going to try to deter the situation by shooting them in, like, say the arm <laughs> or the leg. Or their manly parts where it can get them the most. Um, but if I can try to avoid shooting somebody in the head or right dead center in their heart, I will. I don't want to hurt nobody like that. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want that on my conscience. But, if I have to, I will. So we do carry guns, but we don't carry them on us out and about. Of course, we're homebodies, so we ain't never hardly out and about. <laughs> so, these, this is just really cool. It looks like rock. It looks like rocks inside there. It's just really cool. 
And that is that, you guys. I hate that I didn't record these videos. I know some people like to watch that. Oh my god, it smells so good. Some people like to watch that part of it, too. Let me wipe my hands off and see how much bubble we get from that. But I don't record all my videos. Ah, just for messing with my soap. I love that. Just for messing with my soap and cutting it. Look how many bubbles I get. Like, hee hee. Yay, bubble is in the soap. Nice and soft. I know I rambled on about some crazy stuff today, guys, but sometimes I get people um, mad at me because I have to put music over my videos, and, and that's only because my family walks in and they're cussing or whatnot, so I can't be having none of that, and sometimes if I accidentally cuss, I won't even upload a video, so I try to watch my mouth. I'm a cusser, though, but anyways... Um, Yep, those are my two hot process co uh, soap loaves. I got, I don't even want to pick it up right now because it's not very, well, let me see. I got my Christmas one over here hanging out, but it's very soft still. It looked like it was ready to come out, but when I tried to take it out at the bottom there, yep, yeah, kind of messed up in the corners, which I'll cut each corner off anyway, so that ain't going to matter. But I don't want to mess it up any more than what it already is. So we are just going to wait for this one, guys. I'll cut this one later or something. Hopefully I'll remember to grab my phone and hit record. Yeah, this is really extremely soft. That's crazy. But, alright guys, until next time, I want to appreciate, or I want to thank you guys for joining me. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. And uh, you guys come back for more of oh, these pretty soaps. I really like these ones. These are ones so cool. I might have to try this again later. But just do one color or something. Since I'm not that talented at the countertop hot process yet. <laughs> Alright guys. See you later.